Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is hands down the worst look I have ever done. And if you would like to know how to do it, then keep watching this video. Okay, so on a serious note, I tried out the new Morphe and Jaclyn Hill collaboration palette and it is really gorgeous. It's really beautiful and I decided to try out these colors. It doesn't suit me at all. I can't pull it off, but I think some of you out there would be able to pull off a look like this. So please keep watching if you would like to see how it's created. So I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer as per usual and I'm just going to apply that on my eyelids to prep my lids for my eyeshadow. And just taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and blending that all out. My Rimmel London Insta Fix and Matte Translucent Powder just on a small fluffy brush and I'm just going to set down that concealer just so it doesn't crease here as well. Emily! Want that? No. So I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collaboration palette and I think I'm going to take, just as my transition, I'm just going to take this shade here which is called Silk Cream, Silk Cream, Cream, Silk Cream, I don't really know. I'm going to apply that transition shade, English, Emily go away! Whatever. I'm going to apply that transition shade right in the crease and just blend it upwards so the darker colours can blend up into that shade. The pigment of these shadows is so good and it just goes on and the consistency is really like buttery and just really smooth so it goes on the eye really nicely. I'm going to go with something a little bit different and I'm going to take, I think I'm going to go with these blue shades down here. I'm not really too sure how I'm going to use them, but I think I'm going to go in with this shade here, which is called Jade. And I'm just going to take that on a little blending brush, just apply that below that transition shade. Kind of blend it upwards. I really don't know how this is going to turn out. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not looking good. Now I'm just going to go back in with my MAC 224 just with no product on it and I'm just going to blend up that blue so it's nice and seamless. I don't know how this is going to turn out guys. I've never worked with like colours or cool tones or anything like that. So I'm going to go in with this dark green shade down here. It is called Enchanted and I'm just going to take that on like a smaller, more compact, fluffy blending brush. Wow, the pigment looks so full on. I'm just going to apply that to the outer corners just to darken up them corners a little bit and then just blend it up and take it through the crease just a little bit. I love how pigmented this eyeshadow palette is. I used a couple of the warm tones in this palette like the pink like the pinky oranges and like the red colors and the pigment was amazing and honestly I'm really impressed with like how good this palette is I really like it I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of black just on the very outer corners of my eyes just to like really darken it up and give it a really smoky effect so I'm going to go in with that black in the corner there it is called abyss and I'm just going to take that on the same compact fluffy brush 
and just apply that right to the outer corner. And just taking my blending brush again and just going to blend out all those edges and then just going back in with that light blue color there and I'm just going to blend over the top of the darker green okay so I'm going to do a little bit of a cut crease and then go in with like one of the lighter shimmery shades I'm just taking a small flat-headed brush and just my age rewind concealer just applying some concealer to the brush and then I'm just going to cut that crease Okay, so now that crease is done, I'm just going to take some loose translucent powder and a little brush and just set it down. I'm going to take the little aqua blue colour down here, it is in the shade Pool Party, and I'm just going to take that on a flat headed brush and I'm just going to spray it with some setting spray so that it picks up the pigment a little bit better and then I'm just going to apply that onto the cut crease. As I said before, the consistency of this palette is like really buttery, especially with like the shimmery pigments. So I don't actually think that you do need to spray your brush to pick up the pigment and use it as like a nice shimmer on the lid. I'm just going to go back in with that enchant, oh yes. I'm just going to go back in with that enchanted shade and I'm just going to kind of blend it into the light blue. So for my brows again, I'm going to take my Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. And I'm just going to put my brows on off camera and then I'll be back when they are done. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean up that eyeshadow line with a little bit of makeup removing water and a little makeup remover pad. I'm just going to make a nice sharp line. Just like so. Okay, so I'm just going to apply a wing. Okay, so that is the eyes. I'm going to go and finish off the rest of my face. Hopefully it makes this look a little bit better or a little bit more. I don't even know. I don't know how to feel about this at all, but I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so the rest of the face is on now and I'm still kind of don't like this look on me at all, but if you have like a different complexion to me or different colored hair I think maybe you'd be able to pull this look off but I just definitely can't and at least I know that now not to go for these kinds of colors but I'm just going to finish off the look anyway and I'm going to take 
that light blue shade here and I'm just going to apply that to my lower lash line. Put that here, Kate, and then you can come and join me in the car if you want. So my camera just cut out and I don't know where it did, so I'm just going to say it again, I'm going in with my Maybelline New York Illegal Length Fiber Extension Mascara and just coating that all over my lashes. So for those of you who would go for a look like this, I hope this video helped you guys out and I hope you all have a wonderful day. See you later.